before I did see Mama, life for me was very hard. Huh? I was confused. I was this bitter chick with low self-esteem. Life was hard. I just had a feeling that the world was out to get me. At my place of work, I was not getting along with my colleagues. I was not getting along with my boss. I was working hard, but it didn't seem to to, to, to give me any, any head. Back at home, I had a terrible relationship with my husband, with my kids. I, there was actually, everyone was actually scared of me because I was this, I was this nasty, girl, nasty, nasty mama who would just come and just shout at everybody because I, I never used to understand why people were not seeing things the way I was seeing things. My house girls keep leaving, so things were just not working out, out at all. I kept wondering, what's going on? Why aren't things not working out for me? Because I could see other people, their lives were working out, and I needed help. I, I, I had a feeling my husband was, was almost out the door, and I could tell my kids were not happy with me. So I had to get to a place where I needed to get a solution. Something had to change, or something had to give. So it was at this space when I was crying out for help, asking God to help me, I'm like, I need help. That's when I heard about Simama. While doing Simama, I start discovering that the problem was actually not with the people around me. I started seeing the problem was with me. And not with me per se, I could see that there was a pattern. Because now, Simama made me realize that there was a pattern in my life with my parents, with my parents' parents. So there was something that was following me, the anger, the bitterness, the unforgiveness, the keeping of grudges. It was just terrible, the being nasty. So when I discovered that, I was like, oh, so there's, there's something that is going on in my family and it is up to me to uproot it. And then I, I realized that if I don't stand up and uproot it, if I don't stand up and draw the line, this would automatically go into my my uh, the next generation. I remember one of these days uh, we were in class and um, it just dawned on me that my enemy is not the people. My enemy is not the people around me. I stood up and practically drew a line. And I told the devil, this is the last day you are messing with me. This is the last day you are messing with my life. From now on, from today, enough is enough. We're not, I'm not going again. Um, so I, I was like, I was telling the devil, now you have to deal with me. I, have, I know who the enemy is, and now I was able to put all my guns and direct them to, to the right person. I can see that there's a change. In fact, my husband now is able to relate with me. He can joke with me. I have that chip on my shoulder is no longer there. I'm able to, to, to laugh around with my kids. So it has that realization that who the enemy is and who I should be fighting has made me now know that I am at a good place. It's like my purpose was, was opened. I realized I wanted to be a caterer. So I stopped working and went full swing to becoming a caterer and a happy caterer for that. So now my kids were happy. My husband told me I had changed. The house girls were staying on longer. My friends, now I had more friends than I could count. I was a more pleasant person. Now my, my, my family is, is able to call me without being scared that I will, I will just go at them. Where I am at the moment is I am facilitating Simama and I am trying to see how I can help other people be on the journey, because it's a journey. It's a journey. I'm still learning about myself. I'm still undoing the things that the devil did. So, but it's getting better by the minute. So I'm learning how to take other people through that. And I'm hoping that in future, now the, uh, I'll be able to lock all the doors that the devil has had access to in my family. So that's where I am, guys. It is a good space, a happy space. If you're out there and you're watching this video and you're thinking whether you should do it or not, or you're thinking it's not for you, let me tell you, Simama is for you. Simama is for you because it's going to show you where the doors are open. It's going to show you why there are problems around you. It's going to make you realize what to do, what not to do, and how to do it. It will teach you how to open doors and close doors. Simama will help you discover yourself, discover who you are, who you are in God, and even your, the purpose to which you are created. For, so I would really vouch for it. Do see mama and see your life change. Do see mama and discover the joy that is within this world.